Yo, what's going on? Um, NBA draft is coming up, and it's always bittersweet because you love the draft, but you realize that after the draft, um, Sports Center is going to be terrible till the NFL starts up. So we all dread, you know, the next couple of months because literally Sports Center has nothing to talk about. Um, other than Brett Favre, is he going to come back or isn't he going to come back, right? And, you know, everybody started that. But I want to talk about Ricky Rubio because everybody's talking about him. And what people don't understand, on a skill level, I don't think he's that impressive. I don't really think that he can do anything that American-born players um, can do in terms of his handle. He's only, what, 6'3", 6'4", which, I mean, is standard height here in the U.S., if you're really serious about basketball, in terms of his ability to handle the rock, trust me, all these American-born players can handle the rock, especially this new generation that grew up on that whole and one tip. They, they're all flashy. They can all handle the rock. But the reason why he gets attention isn't because of his skill set. The reason why everybody's talking about him is because he's going to generate revenue for whatever team he goes to. Right, he's good business for the NBA. You have to remember, teams want to win, but they want to make money as well. People can't forget that they want to make money. They're in it to make money. And Ricky Rubio, whatever team he's going to go to, is going to make money. Why? Because he is a great player in Spain. He's big over there. So what's going to happen? They're going to support him. They're going to buy his jersey. They're going to stay late to watch their game. If they have to buy, I don't know if they have cable or satellite, they're going to do whatever so they can see this guy play. So whatever team they're going to go to, going to make money. People are going to come watch the game, right? And there's going to be a lot of hoopla around him. So that's why there's an appeal. I don't really feel like it has much to do with his game. Because like I said before, his skill set, there's nothing impressive about it. Not to say that he's whack. But if you look at his game, and keep in mind, the highlights of him are extremely limited. So it's easy to make a player look great if you just show his highlights. But if you look at what he can do even in the highlights, he's not doing anything that these high school kids are doing, these college kids are doing. So all those people out there defending him, I don't see how you can defend him. What evidence do you have to prove that he's tight? Really, every year there's three or four Europeans that are supposed to be really good, but they never pan out. Really. Never. South American players, it's a little bit different. You know, I would rather go with a South American player over a European, but, you know, they never really pan out. So, anyways, I'm sure I have some of you guys out there that are going to defend him. But if you're going to defend him, give me evidence. When was he ever good? And how is he necessarily better than the American-born player who does what he does? Shit, he probably watched what we were doing over here. Um, so anyways, take it easy. God bless.